Hey, this is Christopher Hawkins. Welcome to another fantastic, magnificent episode. Uh, pretty much what I wanted to do, pretty much, is go over one of the things that I see profoundly as a hot topic and a hot option in real estate today for investors, for renters, for pretty much anybody, especially in the Detroit area, is land contracts. Uh, most people should have experience with land contracts, but if you don't, I want to tell you about it right quick. Pretty much a land contract is you being the bank. Pretty much. Now you're like, how does that work? Well, let's say, for instance, I own a house. I can't. I don't want to really rent it out. Um, I don't want to do lease options, and lease options to me are pretty much a, a fallacy of what they really are. So I say, okay, well, let me do a land contract. And what you do is you have a tenant that say, hey, I want to buy your house, but I have bad credit, and I have little to none money, little to no money. Matter of fact, I, I digress. They have some. Let's say you want to sell your property for twenty-five thousand or thirty thousand. I'm gonna give you an example, and they got. 3,000 or they got 5,000. All right, that's about 10% if it's 3,000, a little over if it's 5,000. All right, so you have a down payment. That's a security deposit down payment pretty much to put you, buying you in this contract for the land, for the land, land contract. And pretty much what's going to happen then is once you sign the agreement, you agree to take care of the property as your own. Just like a mortgage. When you get a mortgage, if you got something to put down, they give you a mortgage. They give you interest, and they give you 30 years, which you're not even promised to have a job for 30 years, but most people sign on a dotted line. Well, a land contract is different because it's not that extensive. The, time, the duration is smaller, depending. Some can be longer, so it's depending on the person who's um, agreeing to the, the contract and who's pretty much setting it up. So me as the owner of the property, if I say, okay, we do 15 years, uh, 3%, uh, monthly note would be 350 or 650 depending on the duration of how I want to do it. If I want five years, the, dur the, the monthly note will be higher, depending on what that person can afford. Within that time frame, I still own the property, but the insurance is your responsibility, the repairs to the property is your responsibility. It's just like owning your own house. After that duration, you're free and clear. It's your property. We sign a deed over and you can walk away. But in other instances, you can have a land contract for an extensive period of time. You can put balloon payments in the land contract. So it's several different flexibilities to do it. Right now, the way the economy is, the way things have been going on in the past, what, 10 years or 5 years or 3, about 6 years, a lot of people don't have great credit or even good credit. So especially in certain areas, they can't get a mortgage. So a land contract is a, is a very, very great tool to use. As an investor, I really don't want to take care of the property, be a landlord, or pay property management. If I pay property management, I want to pay them as little as I can. If I put them in a land contract, well, we just make sure things are okay on our end. Their insurance paid. Um, if they want some services, they can pay for it. But beyond that, I'm hands off. Um, they're responsible for the property, and if they don't pay and they stop paying, we foreclose and kick them out the property. Yeah, it's not cut and dry going through those procedures, but it's just like if you had a renter, you have to evict them and do an eviction notice. So everything is time consuming, but you put that into your model of um, your business that you're going to do, and that solves that should solve that problem. If you definitely uh, planned it out, worked the numbers carefully, you should be able to do that. So that just gives you a pretty much overview of what a land contract is and why a lot of people use it, because nowadays. People might have ten thousand dollars because they moved out of their house that they was paying eighty or one hundred and fifty thousand for, and now they're saved up because they had twelve months to maybe even longer before it went to short sale or foreclosure, and was able to pretty much save that type of money. So now they want to buy a property. However, the property you're selling or renting, you might want forty five for it, and they don't have forty five, but they got twenty. Well, we could do a land contract. They can still drop that ten to. 15, 3 or 5%, whatever you decide. It should be a nice uh, down payment because you want to make sure they're serious. I would definitely advise you that. If you're doing 2% or 5%, yeah, you're gonna, you still can get some knuckleheads, as I call it, that you know, pretty much within a year time can't pay the note. you got to foreclose on them. So you want to make sure you separate, as we say, the dirt from the gold. If you're digging for gold, you got to go through a lot of dirt. To do that, you got to use the right tools. So definitely have a big down payment for them. 
But then you know that person serious. They drop ten thousand down, and the property's forty five, and they got a land contract for five, eight years. Depends on the, on the terms you want to do. It's worth it's it's worth it. So one of the tools I'm definitely looking to use. I've used with other people, people that do wholesaling turnkey properties. This is one of the things that are in the mainstream right now. So just wanted to share that information with you. I know a lot of people are weary regarding land contracts, but just do your research on it. And you'll find out it can be a viable tool, just like renting is a viable tool, depending on what your model is. If you sitting and holding, then don't do a land contract. But if you definitely want to eventually make your money back and then be able to skip the property off your hands, it's a viable tool. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Definitely apologize. I haven't been as active with my videos. But, hey, I'm out here definitely working on some big things. And then once they come down the pipeline, I will share it with you guys. So y'all take it easy. Catch you on the next video. Appreciate any feedback, any likes, anything above, you know, positive, negative. I take it all. You have a good day, and I'll catch you on the next episode.